tijd voor het baden. Yo, yo, hey, what's up, what's up? We're back at it like a crack at it. What's up, what's up, mini bike riders? We're back, we're back. Hopefully everybody's having a good time. Enjoying your holidays. Staying warm. You know, just just, just chilling, relaxing. So yeah, you guys seen the thumbnail, you guys seen the title. Uh, it's just going to be a quick video. I'm going to just show you guys the materials and what I do to uh, make my custom mini bikes. And I'm pretty much anything you can make a want to make a gas tank uh, i always get a lot of questions of uh of my gas tank right here my mini bike gas tank of uh, they're just curious what it's made out of or how i made it and stuff so i just want i i did make a, a video in the past of how when i made this one but i just wanted to make like a quick video uh to show you guys how you guys the material that i use what you could use uh to make your own custom gas tank so it's just gonna be a quick video. If you guys don't want to see, you know how to do this, you guys can just skip through or anything. But yeah, I appreciate everybody that is stopping by and uh, check. So like I said, it's gonna be a quick video. I just wanted to show you guys how um, the materials that I used to make that I made for that gas tank right there. And uh, this this one right here is just uh, another example of how I made. You can make these things right here, the on and off ones. You can order these. A couple of them on Amazon. I honestly forgot how much. I want to say like like 20 of these for like five or ten bucks so yeah but this is kind of a this tiny one that i had laying around i found this bottle in the garbage didn't want to use it recycle so there you go and then i actually took this little i actually took this little piece from a old uh, gas tank that was leaking like uh, i forgot it. i think it was from the 90 cc gas tank it was leaking so i unscrewed it and that's what i use okay so that was another example. I just wanted to show you guys now how I made them. This is a $20, $20, $15. Probably getting a deal. $15, $20 uh, water, water jug, water can, whatever you want to call it. This is how much it has. Actually never knew. I went to go get another one just so I could show you guys um, how I made mine. You guys can see it's exactly the same. It's just pink, you know? But yeah, this is what I use. I mean, like I said, you could use any other one. It's all metal. Here, let me open this real quick. This is what it looks like in the inside. The little cap. And like I said, exactly like mine. So I actually drilled a little hole right here. So I could breathe the gas. Because, you know, you need some airflow going through. I hope you uh, push it into the carburetor. Okay, so you get your whatever gas tank you need whatever uh, type of thing that you think you're gonna use then what you're gonna obviously you have a drill right uh, got any type of drill you know as long as it does the work so then um i guess depending on the size okay so look and these are the things that i use uh i like uh, i guess the thread ones there's different ones i want to say this one you could go to home depot and find different type of like titties or whatever you call this to use i like the ones that have thread because um you can find the right size bit for this and once it's in there you could pretty much kind of just like basically kind of just screw it in there when the size is there like i said it's just a quick example i kind of don't want to mess with my uh, water thingy since i'm not i don't really need it at the moment but yeah, you drill this through, make sure you know where, where exactly it's going to be. Not too low so you don't mess it up and not too high. So you get you get to use the the most amount of gas that you have. Okay, let me show you how I wear on mine. Yeah, this is how mine looks on the other side. You guys can see, this is the, look, I just got this part at Home Depot. Oh yeah, and this, these are uh, the fuel hose. I said home like i said amazon home depot the fuel holes i actually got it at menards i never checked that they had any in home depot i got it a different date but uh all this fuel holes what size is it that's the size oh yeah 20 feet for like i think i paid like seven bucks man for all this i mean i don't care if it's not colorful you know as long as it's doing the job but i mean having color one is pretty cool you know get to customize your bike okay so okay so you made the hole you drill i put if you have a little a bit of teflon teflon uh let me see 
No, I don't have any around. But if you have a little bit, you could put some just so I can make it better and snugged. So then, okay, so you draw your thing. You push it in there. Uh, once, once it's all in there, like you think it's nice and tight. Then you could either use uh, Gorilla Glue. I like to use this right here. Flex, flex glue. Uh, there's also the, the welding stick thing. Uh, this, what's it called? JB Weld Stick. But I don't know, man. Last time... I had a better experience with this thing, holding things together for longer and like basically like shaking and vibrating. This 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 helps like crazy. So I would recommend this, you know, depending on your budget or money that you have. I always uh, wrap it up nice, put it. I still have it in another plastic so it doesn't dry up on me. Gorilla glue. Once you like I said, have it in there, and I like to put like two layers. I think I put a little bit of gorilla glue too in here. So I'll put one layer, let it dry up for a whole day, and then I'll put a second layer. And then, I mean, if you want to keep it safe, up maybe a third layer. Because it is gasoline. So far, I haven't had problems with mine leaking or anything. As you guys can see, I want to say I put like three layers. This one, I like to keep it safe. So yeah, it's no leaks, no nothing. So far, I've been having this for two years, two, three years. It's just that I... Couldn't find the cap for one moment. That's why I made this tiny one. Because I couldn't find the cap for that one. But yeah, I spent it. Dude, I spent like less than a dollar to fill this up. And I did uh, 30 miles going from. from Yeah, I just did more 30 miles on a, on a gallon from there. Uh, obviously, you know, I just kept it at a good speed. Every now and then I would open it because it's fun. But good speed. So yeah, man. So once you have this in there. Like I said, make sure you drill a, little, a hole there so you can have some airflow. Let the let the gasoline pour out. Once this is in there, you already put some of the of the glue or gorilla glue, whatever, and then you put on your your gas line. You know, you just hook it in there, and bam, guys, you're gonna have a a nice dope custom gas tank for your mini bike. And it's gonna look different from all the other guys that have the same gas tank. I actually cut that piece off so I could just fit in there better. So yeah, like always, riders. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped. It's always just little tips and tricks. Uh, tips and tricks. I like to uh, help out riders. You know, make everything smoother and easier for you guys. So like I said, you guys could use this method on um, pretty much a lot of things. Hopefully metal or just I don't know, just things that you know the gas you know we'll stay in there and help you out and just customize your bike you know be, be original so peace out have a good one stay warm ride safe wear a helmet dude